All right, here up for auction we have our all original 1979 Ford F-150. Uh, this is the second year where it went from uh, you know F-100 to F-150. It has that classic high boy look to it. That is a half ton though. Um, it's all original paint except for um, on the passenger side bed side from the trim down. There's been a little bit of body work you can see down here. Um, it looks like maybe a little bit right here, uh, but and the paint was blended up. But it matches really well. But in the right light, you can see that something's been done there. But pretty much the entire truck is original paint, and then on this bedside from the trim up. Uh, this is all original bright yellow is what they call it, and it's it is a bright yellow. It's really similar to GM's Corvette yellow. It still has really nice shine of the original lacquer enamel paint. But it's got about 124,000 original miles, so it's rolled over once. Uh, let's double check here. So, yeah, so it's got one, so it's got two, four, four, one, zero. Um, but you can really, can, what stands out on this truck, you know, compared to the rest of them, is the condition of all the trim. I mean, all the aluminum still has that bright chrome like reflection. I mean, you guys are familiar with these trucks, know that the around the grill, the trim, the hubcaps, I and mean, look how shiny these original hubcaps are. They got that real faded, oxidized uh, look where they almost look white or light gray. Um, but this truck's extremely clean, rust-free truck. Uh, it's been in Eastern Washington its whole life. It's got a clean Washington title. So I'll go ahead and take you around this thing. Um, you know, it's uh, 40 years old this year, so you got you know you have your little expected stone chips on the front. You know, you'll have you'll find some little imperfections in the paint. It looks like there's something in the paint there, right up there, a little imperfections. But it has that killer kind of farm truck patina look. Um, people call it the shop truck look. But there's some stuff in the paint there. You see the bumper is still nice and bright. The grill, none of the plastics are broken out. You know, there's fading in the plastics around here. But all the lights have really nice clarity. You got the logo. But you can see how shiny all that trim is. This has brand new tires. They have less than 500 miles on them. They're uh, 31 by 1050 by 15. All the glass is original and has the car light logo, including the front windshield that has in the middle. Um, I'll include a picture of that, but it basically looks like that. The original mirror is still in nice condition. All the door gaps and panel gaps are in really nice shape. The door shuts like a vault. Front bulkhead is nice and straight. Um, it had a canopy on it most of its life, so you will see, you know, some holes that were drilled. Someone tried to repair that hole, um, but you know, and you'll see some of the sticky stuff in the previous canopy. But to be honest with you, um, you know, we just didn't want to hide anything. But if this was my truck or a keeper, I'd just throw some diamond plate bed caps on there. It would look awesome with this trim. Um, but uh, we like to have everything on there. Full disclosure: no rust on the bottom of the the rear of the bed corner, almost. Just almost every truck, it's rust right down here of this era. You can see the uh, tailgate's nice and straight. Has awesome fading and the lettering. But you know, you'll see a little ding, little scuffs in the paint, stuff like that. Um, the rear bumper has been touched up and painted nice. Inside the bed, you'll see some surface rust and stuff like that. But a lot of times, you'll get pinhole rust spots throughout here. You'll get rust around here. I mean, just none of this stuff. It has some holes drilled for something. Not sure what, but the front of the bed is the same way. You'll see the close-up pictures. No rust. Tailgate shuts nice. Nice gaps. You can see the bed hasn't been overloaded or overworked. Whether you know, you see a truck that's been worked real hard. You'll see a big gap starting, and then it'll get a little skinnier. You know, you got the little scuffs. You know, no dents on this truck. I mean, it's just arrow straight. I mean, look at this trim and everything. You know, the door felt on both trucks is cracked. And aged but again 35 bucks at the door gets you a new set there's a little tiny scrape that put a little ding in the paint and this is the, this is only dent on the body um, but it really doesn't take away from the truck at all I mean just has that killer look to it the original steel wheels um, this truck just has that you know what I'd like to call like the brochure look um, with the hubcaps and the white letters there's a little ding in the bedside here you can see the right angle but you just don't see these trucks this clean and unmodified, you know. A lot of times they've had a bunch of owners and they've been molested. You see a little ding in there. So this is nice soft aluminum so you could get underneath there and pop that out. This truck just has that right stance and it has underneath the hood and the interior is just super clean. 
You know, you got a little wear in the paint here. You got a little wear in the paint on the bedside there. But inside is just really nice. None of the door panels have ever been off, so they're still nice and tight to the to the door. A lot of times it's just cracked and pulling back. You'll see people run screws into the sides of them. A lot of times the speaker grill's busted out. The little bucket's still in nice condition. It's a little stuff like this that makes this truck stand out compared to the other trucks. You can see there's no overspray or anything. Got the original VIN plane. There's a little bit of surface rust underneath each doors just from resting up against. You know, they sit up against here and water and, and rocks will bounce up and hit the inside of the door. A little entryware, but again, no rust. Dog legs are nice. Original decal. You can see there's no paint lines, never had any paint work. No stress cracks. Steering wheel's in excellent condition. All the gauges are really clear. All of them work. The only flaws on the interior is just uh, cr you know, your typical cracks on top of the dash, but it comes with a pristine dash pad that you can put in. Um, all the visors are in nice shape. And the uh, visor's still got the little end piece that still goes on there. Um, you know, the, the, the uh, headliner's a little faded, but it's nice to see it's all original, matches the truck. These, these seats been redone, a nice black and gray. So it looks awesome. The original floor mat is still in nice condition. Only has a couple of hairline cracks around the shifters. Again, all the boots are tight to the floor. Pedal pads have uh, hardly any wear. Door pins, no door sag. And again, you look at the pedal pads, the vinyl floor mat, the, the, the condition of the trim, the condition of the hubcaps, and you know, it just backs up for the mileage being you know, 124,000 original, but you know, there is no mile log book that comes with it and it rolls over, so it's really, you pretty much just got a bid on the truck you see. Because um, there's a lot of these trucks out there, but there's, you know, they're starting to get few and far between, but especially original ones like this is just extremely hard to find. Uh, the original cardboard uh, glove box is in there and intact. You know, the visors stay up. You see the seat's really nice. Behind the seat is this really clean no rust got your gun holster in case you need to take it hunting or need a little protection if you're a carrier in the door panels not pull back nice and tight you know this is in good shape just incredible condition um, it's gonna be tough to find another 79 this clean and this original um, another rare part about the truck besides just its condition is uh, you know the it's a one-handed deal here but you can see, you know how tough these things are to open up. So uh, the fact that I can do it with one hand just kind of shows how clean and tight it is. But you look at the underside of this hood, how clean everything is. You know, the original manufacturer, or the original assembly line um, marks. But it's got the 300 inline six. And look how clean that thing is. I mean, it is just amazing. This is a very hard to find powertrain. You know, the four speed, power, power disc brakes, power steering. Um, but you look at the inside of this inner fender, I mean, you look at those original bolts, you don't see that shine, shiny anodized look still. And you look at just how clean this thing is all the way around. We're, this is what really separates this truck from the rest of them. But you look underneath the hood, it's just beautiful shiny paint. Still has all this rubber protection for the headlights in place. It's only pulled out in one spot. But you just don't see that on those trucks anymore. You know, nothing's ever been messed with. You know, it's not missing the battery tie down. It's got the jack. But look how clean, you know, it's got the, you know, it's got the, uh, I mean, look at the alternator. It's just unbelievable. But, uh, so this is going to be going up for auction. Uh, if you need any, any more pictures or videos, let me know. Uh, we're going to load up and go do a driving video. So hopefully you guys can stick around. All right, here we are for our run and driving video of our 79 Ford F-150. They're all original Survivor. See all the blinkers are on. I mean, this thing just runs so quiet and so smooth. I mean, you can see how clear the corner lights are. No smoking. I mean, it just runs like a little sewing machine. You just you hit the key on this thing and it just fires right up. But I'll go ahead and pop the hood. I mean, there's not a squeak or rattle coming from underneath the hood of this thing. It's not shaking. So it's got fresh oil change. You can see the fuel pump was done not too long ago. I mean, it's just running killer. You know, this truck doesn't uh, 
It has a couple old truck type corks, but it doesn't have some of the ones. Uh, like being very difficult to start, this truck is very easy to start. It fires up every time. It doesn't, uh, um, it doesn't have a draw power where you lose your battery for sitting for a few days. This truck can sit for weeks on end and you come out and it fires up nice and quick. Um, so the one of the old truck corks is the, the e-brake light just stays on all the time, which is kind of seems to be the common thing for these things. Blower motor works nice, heater works really good. You know, it's got two tanks. You can see um, that's the rear tank and you can see it changing. You go to the, the front tank, which is the main one we're running on. And you can see it dip down a little bit. So, all right, so all the windows roll up nice and smooth on both side doors. And you can see the fly windows on both doors. You know, you don't have to have a nickel in there or a washer. It's just really nice and tight. Um, but these trucks do uh, do have the aerodynamics of a brick, so you will get um, a little bit of wind noise going on the highway. So hopefully uh, traffic allows us to. We can get out of the freeway. Original AM stereo, never been touched. Series one zip. Have two more games coming up. Works good. I mean, even the look at the rearview mirror, and it doesn't have any fogging or discoloring. Um, ashtrays, nice condition, never been smoked in. Um, so all right, we're gonna I take off in second gear pretty much in this thing. It is a four speed, but uh, You know, I also want to mention that you know, it could use new door seals on the doors. They got some black duct tape on them um, But it, it's just amazing to see 40 years And the steering wheel's got no cracks in it But it might be a little traffic heavy, but um well, this truck is very easy to drive and I start out in second gear because it's a four speed that they got saying the first gear will pretty much get you about five feet um, it's great for working you know if you're working on a farm um, or if you need to use four low it's like crawling but uh, so all right so as soon as we get through this roundabout but there's no play in the steering you really um, even if you tried, you couldn't get a better running and driving uh, F-150 or old, old Ford or any old pickup. This thing runs and drives awesome. Um, it doesn't have any issues of getting in traffic and idling weird or building up um, or cutting out or overheating. It just runs extremely tight and smooth. The steering is very tight. You know, clutch is right where it should be. And they go into third gear. And it's just so quiet. I mean, it just really does, you know, give you that old sewing machine sound. But you can see the potholes in the road. I mean, it just soaks them up. You know, you're not getting any uh, abnormal rattling, but just besides the sound of an old truck, it's very tight and solid. So I'm going to get out here on the highway, hopefully, and then... Uh, I'll exit off and do some country roads. It's got some potholes and some patches and some um, some bad wear areas. But uh, as you can see, it's uh, unfortunately I did take off during rush hour traffic. Heater works very good, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn that bad boy off. So you can see there's some patches and stuff there. That just soaks it up nice so I'm gonna take off just in like I'm just going for a little cruise into third barely giving it any throttle and into fourth you see all the gauges are working nice good working horn get out very minimal wind noise but I mean you can see the great condition of the paint and the reflection um, doing 65 and this is pretty much where the truck likes to be you know maybe 70 75 pushing it but I wouldn't want to give any more than that you know just because it's uh, the way it's geared but I mean it's just a phenomenal driving truck you can see it's not a white knuckle deal I'm not searching it down it's like if you move the steering wheel the trucks moving it's uh I mean, you could fully restore the undercarriage on this thing, restore the motor, and it's not going to run any better or drive any better. It is extremely tight. So I'm going to exit off of here. I 
mean, it just really feels like, you know, the best way to say it, a happy truck. I mean, it's a truck you can tell it's been very well cared for because you just couldn't have a truck for one look like this, but drive this amazing. I've, I have driven more old trucks than I could count in old cars. And uh, sometimes you'll put all new parts on an old muscle car or old truck um, and do a bunch of things and they still won't drive this good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm come to stop up here. And we'll go down into first. You know, you basically, this first is so low that you basically wanna, you know, we got 10 miles an hour and a few feet of that, and then you go into second. But you see some potholes here. You just see it just soaks them up, man. Just gives that nice solid thump sound. I mean, it's just, just killer. We're gonna, you know, brakes nice and smooth. Um, doesn't need anything, doesn't need shocks, doesn't need brakes. I mean, this truck, basically, you jump in and you drive it to your next oil change, and that's it. Um, it's just an incredible original example. So we're gonna come into some tight 90s to left and right, a couple of S curves. I'll come into the brake here. Downshift into thirds, so you can see all the synchros. Really tight shift pattern. You know, it's not an old beat up gearbox. You can see when as soon as I want to straighten out, you can let go of the steering wheel and the truck automatically wants to straighten itself out as it should. So you know the gearbox is, I mean the, the steering box is in good shape. But you can just see these bumps in the road. I mean you can see the truck bouncing around and the hood moving, um, but you just don't hear anything. You don't hear those door panels rattling. You don't hear, um, you know, undone interior pieces, undone, you know, loose bed or loose loose doors. You just don't get that out of this truck, and it's just incredible. All right, one last tight little turn here. All right, so let me know if you guys need anything else, and uh, good luck.